I hope if I have the right image up. God damn it. Uh, where is it? I can get us up to fifth level spells. Same. I forgot to. I. I forgot to tell. It's not that. So yeah, the invocations I took, Agonizing Glass, Armor of Shadows, Eldritch Spear, Mask of Many Faces, Rebuke of the Talisman, and Devil's Sight. Yeah, this is right. So no matter what, I can see fucking far. Now we have the correct graphic. Hmm. All right. Everybody, welcome to Bears and Dragons. Um, previously, um, what happened? I'm Bears and Dragons. We, we, got, we got our ass. We got our, cat, our ass handed to us. We got Head wrecked. wrecked. And it was all Crib's fault. I'll, I'll touch the blame. I'm on getting that. ripped tonight. Oh, R.I.P. That. <laughs> <laughs> R.I.P. That. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the south. I mean, is that wrong? <laughs> the DM was like, oh, that it side does. at the bottom, of, at the bottom of the tower was just too, too easy. easy guys. And so, he, Destroy them. <laughs> so we're gonna up it, and it killed us. Well, just, just upped it a, 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 a bit. A, 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 a bit, a bit. <laughs> we got our ass kicked. Four level twenty, probably like high level characters plus five dragons, five adult dragons. Fuck. Uh, that high commander. <laughs> um, excuse me. Tell Josh to get back here because I need my kiss from him too, and wish him a happy birthday. Uh, I think he had to go to the bathroom, so when he comes back, I'll get him on the headset. For that was okay. just a test thing. Ignore that. That's okay. I'm assuming that anything at the current moment is is a test. So. Where do we want to start here? Okay. Right now, the, the Pyre of Faith has been completely immolated, uh, electrocuted, uh, poisoned, uh, frozen, and uh, uh, acid dripped, dripped, did, did on the high tower on the um, at the top of the of Archon's tower. That's where. Our heroes um, met their death. In the lowest level of hell. Oh, wait, 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 wait we, we got a, a... Hello, hello. Hello, hello, and apparently a happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Happy birthday! I was telling Dustin how you better get your ass back here because where the fuck is my kiss too? <laughs> yeah. There you go. Thank there you. you go. Happy birthday. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Mighty cast. Mighty cast. Dote on Percival. 
<laughs> and Percival cast Tidal Wave? I don't know, something fun? Okay. <laughs> Tidal Wave is fun. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't know, something fun. Um oh hey, Spatial Rift. There what's we going go. On? Doesn't have that one in Fortnite. Be nice. So, uh, in the uh, ninth level of hell, I can't remember the name of a uh, a bone devil uh, enters a lone chamber where sits a large throne facing a wall which looks to have nine panes of glass looking at the panes of glass you see images which those with the appropriate knowledge would realize are images in each image was located somewhere in one of the nine layers of hell kind of a control room sort of thing The uh, Bone Devil approaches the uh, throne that is facing these, for lack of a better term, screens. Screens. And holds out a crown. With nine pointed tips and the symbol of Asmodeus uh, at its crown. <laughs> the master... I have brought it. A hand with long fingers. Fingers reaches over and says, Thank you. Ah, I'm so glad that it's returned. And who would have thought? And he starts, starts just like, Waving his his finger and and spinning the crown on on his fingers, I would have thought that Tiamat's main man would have put some sort of enchantment on that tower to prevent teleportation. Considering he has the high eye vector, <laughs> hand, actually it was the hand, not the eye, right? No, it's, it's, the, it's the hand. It's the hand. Let me. This is between Please. the two. This was on purpose. <laughs> it was the hand, so yes, the, you're absolutely correct. It is the hand. Ah, excellent. And he puts the crown on top, top of his head and says, Ah, I'm so glad to have this back. I haven't had this for eternity. I can't believe it didn't come with me down here. No. We will have to see what our heroes will, will end up doing. Oh, that's right, they died here in hell. I wonder where their souls are going. <laughs> Meanwhile, back on the uh, surface of Toral, in the uh, nation known as Faerun, in the region known as the Sword Coast, four adventurers are making their way separately. Uh, down south, just a few mo miles uh, beyond, uh, south of Waterdeep. For various reasons, they had received some sort of summons in some way. One of them is a... Water Genasi, was that? Air. Air Genasi who's been frequently known as Squall. Tell us. Just, uh, uh, just describe your character. Uh, Squall is a average 6 foot, 220 pound build, like, athletic build. Um, he has, like, sky blue skin. Like, not like like, a medium-length hair that just always seems to be moving. It's weird, even if there's nothing going on around him. Just, it's always slightly moving, but stylish at the same time. Like, it doesn't just look haphazard. It's still pretty stylish and all. Um, 
He wears just normal garbs and stuff. Has this nice emerald pendant. Fairly, like, fairly good size. At least, like, the size of this card. Like, on his chest. Um, and he has these little, like, almost fashionable robes. Oh, not like, but like, cut off here. So it's just like, down, all the way down. And if you could see under it, there is a lamp. Just on his belt, very nicely decorated and stuff, and all. Um, you most people would hopefully know him um, due to the fact that he is his main goal is to become a well-known and lovable entertainer. He goes around traveling to different cities, try, performing all various means of shows for kids, adults. We can get into it, some of the chords and stuff. Um, but he just loves entertaining people and bringing smiles and joy to the world. Uh, hopping out of the forest, I'm, I'm basically going by left to right how I'm seeing you all here. So that's, that's to explain it. Is not a mother, Frederica. Nope. Uh, it's. Definitely not a bollywog. Too 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 short to be a bollywog. Uh, if if anybody has visited the land of Cholt, you may have seen a bunch of these. Uh, but it is a lone little grung. Who wants to see it? I cannot uh, put it bigger. But um, it's a uh, a small frog. Walking on both legs, um, even though he appears to hover from the ground most of the time. He uh, brandished a what looks like a spear, uh, and you can you can hear crackles with every one of, it, of his steps. Um, the wind is never against him as he walks. Um, he's Clearly, clearly emanating electricity. Where are we appearing, Wind? Uh, you are basically in a near cl a cl the clearing right in front of the entrance to the Eyes of Io. Whom do I see? Uh, right now, you just seen a um, Air Genasi. Yes. Uh, walk, walk out of the road. So, oh, fellow pair people, you've been summoned here too. Am I right? Oh, hello there. Eh, guess that really summoned more told to be here. It's a long story and. And kind of miffed about it right now, so I'll, I'll tell it later. It has his own way to deal with those kind of things, I understand. Yeah. All right, let's wait for the uh, the main event to happen, I guess. Trouble times are up ahead. Uh, coming uh, about a minute or two later, uh, you hear a little bit of music, probably whistling or something, as a a lizard folk with a tricorn hat, uh, based off a of picture, um, mm -hmm. uh, uh, come down uh, <clears throat> down the road. I, I don't know. Are you are you whistling, to kind of like keeping yourself entertained, or or playing a, a harp or lute or something like that while you're while you're moving. He doesn't play a whole lot of music, but he's definitely whistling. He's just like doing a cute little tune, humming to himself while he's thinking to himself. Percival uh, is six foot nine, uh, and he weighs probably around three hundred pounds. He's a little bit chunky, but he he buff. He's he's a strong boy. His strength score doesn't re 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 doesn't represent that, but we don't care. They're show muscles. That's all he needs is 
It's just the it's how he beds his thing, his people. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. So he is a very large lizard folk, um, shirtless, of course. <laughs> he would never be caught dead wearing a shirt. They're too stuffy anyway. Um, he is wearing a pair of scuffed up trousers, just standard stuff as you would see. Um. He definitely gives you the pirate vibe, the pirate aesthetic. And uh, uh, quick, quick, quick question here, which I, I don't think was uh, you mentioned. Does Squall have a stage name, or has he always been known as Squall? Um, he's always been um, he's been, like literally just came up with this character today. So as of right now, it's just been Squall. Okay, it's fine. I, I yeah. just didn't know if he had a stage name or anything. I, I haven't thought that far yet. Like, oh. still things are in. So, so Percy, you, you you come down here, and I am sure that you have seen the perfor- performance of the Great Squall. Of course, I was about to reference it myself. Um, sorry, I'm I'm getting really I'm getting into Percy's character, so um, I'm gonna be a bit of a bitch today. That's fine. <laughs> Fair warning. That's just today. Um, I, I don't have a shade fan. That's my other co-host of my podcast. <laughs> we, need, we, need buy, we need to buy you one. Like, there's so many times you're like, I wish I had a shade fan. <laughs> shade fans are truly... They are... Uh, they will eventually be a gay relic. They'll be like, hey, this is an ancient um, Sikh uh, ceremonial knife, and then they'll be over here right next to the... Like, uh, this is an early 2010s gays... A shade fan. <laughs> it's vintage. <laughs> Anyways. It'll break the moment you thwap it. <laughs> anyway. <gasps> I recognize you. Hmm. But I from love, where, though? I love hearing people say they recognize me. Uh, you probably might have seen some of my shows. I, I, I traveling entertainer of sorts. The name's Squall. And he kind of does, he does his little, uh, like, thinking flourish. It's like, oh! Oh! Oh, I recognize you. I used to go to all your shows. Your music really sets the mood, if you know what I mean. Uh, I do. I so, always love... What's a fine fellow like you do it over here? Up in this neck of the woods. That's literally. Long. It's a long story. I was basically told by a patron of mine that I had to come here. Oh my god, don't tell me. Are they my parents? No. <laughs> no, they're not. No, don't talk to them anymore. I can, That's a tool. I can guarantee that it's no one you know. So, uh, I, would, I would assume both Squall and... and... Uh, um, Squall and and, and, uh, and, and and what's what's your pet? What's that? What's that thing? Oh, I just met this person. I don't think person. Sorry, did, say did what? Papa. What was Sorry, that? what did you say? My name is Edward Hopper. Edward Hopper. And you're. A frog. Thank you very much. As you are not a lizard, but a lizard folk. Uh, sorry, I'm not a lizard. I'm the lizard. Thank you. Watch your tone. Toad. Like I said, you're a lizard folk. Or the lizard folk for you. Percival isn't yeah. very smart, so he's just gonna like pretend that he's smarter than this creature. Alright, so, so, <laughs> due, due to some uh, ether or otherworldly uh, uh, nature, Squall and uh, uh, Edward Hopper have been arrived here. Uh, Percival, you're not much into to the supernatural-ish. Uh, what what might have been your uh, summons? How, how do you suspect that you might have been summoned to this location? 
but no one of the eyes of Io themselves have actually summoned you, by the way. <laughs> he got a you up text. <laughs> Just, Sorry, I, 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 was, I, you up, I, you up, messenger hawk. <laughs> no, it was late night. It was super late at night. It was just a question mark. Like, let's be honest here. In reality, he probably got really drunk the night before. I was like, ugh, gotta leave that down before my face is up on the wall. <laughs> uh, I'm going. I'm gonna gonna say this is you just had an overwhelming uh after waking up with your hangover from the night before um i don't know who was in your bed with you at the time he doesn't Uh, remember uh, there were multiple uh (laughs) Uh it it could be multiple yeah i mean uh, i'm not saying anything about how many just that i don't know who all the people were that were in your bed uh, but you woke up and had this <laughs> sudden feeling to to come down to this place. Uh, you didn't even know this place was here. This is like new to you. Uh, coming coming out of the woods, not directly from the road, probably for various reasons. Uh, a Goliath emerges with a very large warhammer and a shield hanging from his back. I, I, you just see like Squall over there, just kind of like hovering in the corner, just waiting to see what happens. Literally hovering up above the ground, just. Uh, just where is this place? <laughs> this is it. This is just outside the entrance to the Eyes Bio. Okay, for me, what is the Eyes Bio? <laughs> Those the are. Eyes- Right. These are the patrons uh, of the Pyre of Faith. Uh, that okay. was like uh, uh, Sylvia and, and uh, Leon and the Moon and all those um, who have been helping there. you out and equipping equipping all of the the Pyre of Faith. Okay. But you uh, you have become aware of the Pyre of Faith or uh, of the Eyes of Io and the Pyre of Faith because of your previous acquaintances to to say the least who you've just recently kind of broken off of and you thought i'm assuming you thought you were like i need to talk to someone that would definitely be against these people and also if you i just want to paint this like squall is like laying on his side like literally be like what the hell how he's doing this like just laying on his side just hey he's like uh uh paint me like one of your french girls yes uh, paint me like one of your french chins <laughs> so pretty much uh huge goliath um like how like, huge are we talking about like paint me a word picture Because th- this might arouse someone. Um, I mean, he's tall. I, I don't know exactly how tall. Um, above six feet. Let's say for... Let's say... What's the average height for Goliaths? Over seven like, feet. I was like, like, it's over like seven feet. Like They are huge. Seven, eight. Seven, eight. Uh... He's a built guy. Um, y'all know what Drax looks like? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. For all purposes, he pretty much looks like him. Just um, a seven foot tall Drax. Okay. Yeah. And, and we're, we're talking about the Dave Batista Drax, not like the Drax from the actual comic books. D- question Does he have sensitive nipples? You don't know. I don't know. It's clearly up quickly. This is Dustin asking Buddy if Fitch has sensitive nipples. Because Jack's had sensitive nipples. Uh, um, 
purely for I don't scientific know. reasons. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. He has chain mail on, just normal chain mail. And as Wynn says, he has a Warhammer shield. Uh, There's a stirring in Squall's pants right now. That's pretty much it. Nothing, nothing really. Does he have hair or is he just bald headed? Does he have tattoos? Oh, God, I always miss the tattoos. <laughs> uh, you, you know what? Uh, if you guys can uh, see this yes. guy a bit, that's what he looks like. Let's go with that. Okay, cool. Except with Jmail on. Except with... Yeah. Here, if no one can see it, I'm going to do it like this. Um. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> um, oh, man, I... you. Here's um, yes. a better picture of Squall. He'll just uh, walk up and um, ask. Uh, who's who's the, the authority around here? That'll be me. Thank you. Hi, how are you? I think Enjoy. the authority is the one who summoned me. I'm guessing it's these eyes of Isle people. I, I, I was eyes told... Eyes what not? What are you talking about? I was told to come to this building here and help out these people called the eyes of Isle with something. I wasn't told what. I was just told to come help out with something. First you need to like, walk over and you could be like, Are they pink? Do I need to yeah. get in on this? To me? Yeah. Uh, uh, I. There was payment done in advance. This is more of a agreement I had with said person that um, every so often I'm going to help him with things. And that thing, one of those things was cashed in, and that's just this. So. Right. Uh, Sounds like you I, don't know how to manage money. What, Loan Shark? Like, what's going on here? Oh, trust me, money is not the thing that I've gotten out of this bargain. Oh, thank God, me either. <laughs> I've gotten more things, more valuable things out of this than just mere money. Um, uh, okay, so we have a Air Genasi or Water Genasi? Air. Air. Uh, uh, I don't know your name other than Frederica. Um, uh, you should probably change your name. Yeah, give me a second. Uh, Ed Edward? Edward. Edward. Edward, yes. Is your like, character like a frog? Grog. Yeah. Grog. Grog. Thank you. Out of character. Oh uh, yes, it's a it's a frog. It's a grog. Okay, and it's a it's a frog people. It's a frog people. Oh my god, they're so cute! I know, right? And uh, are you a lizard folk? Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm a cool. seven foot nine lizard folk. <laughs> how how tall? He, he, he suddenly grew. <laughs> a foot. But he he needs to nine. be the Paul. He needs to be the tallest person. <laughs> in large. In no, it, it, if it was that, it would have been seven large. one. It would have been seven one. <laughs> well, I'm down if, for seven one. If you want to be the tallest, I can shrink a little. No, 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 oh. no, 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 no. It, you're a Goliath. You're gonna be you, the tallest, no matter what. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you're like a one. Goliath with dwarfism is still six eight. <laughs> like. <laughs> I was going to go with 6'8". Six, six. I said 6'8". I think. Then you're... I you, 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 uh, you were yes. the, 
seven, you said eight. seven, eight. seven eight. Yeah. It was about to say, if you were six, eight, like, you were a, like, what happened in the womb, you were a runt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so, uh, I kind of have urgent tasks. So, if, if I could get past you guys... Uh, they're, okay. they're not really standing oh. in your way. They're just kind of yeah, standing in that glaring talking. Go on right ahead. You can go around it. Or, um, you know. I'll come with you since I'm supposed to come here. Anyway, I was told specifically to come. I'm not going to let a fine piece of meat like that just walk away from me. I'm coming too. Right. <laughs> Squall and <person>. Ah, <laughs> ah. Both I see bonus. you too are a fine connoisseur of exquisite delicacies. All right. I, I, I want. I've dabbled in things from the Hold past. On. Uh, uh, Percy, did we did we already roll for dick size? Uh, mm. it was like it was humongous. It was like twelve, I think. Right. How do you roll for dick size? A d twelve plus three. Uh, uh, what was it? A d twelve plus three is the general rule of thumb. <laughs> okay. I don't think I can roll a d twelve. Okay, okay. Depending on the size, depending yeah. on the race size, because lizard folk are like huge. Look at this nine nine inch. You are a small creature. Inch. You don't roll a d12, you dumbass. My god. No. Ten inches. That, that, he, he's, he's gifted. He was gifted. Yeah, Percy's oh. still bigger. Yeah, no, that See, seems There fun. you go. Like, that, that's much better. But um, Percy's, big, Percy's bigger than Squall to begin with. So him having a bigger dick is still proportionate. Mine is bigger than proportionate. That's what I say. I have the smallest one. But in proportion, I have the biggest. <laughs> You're like, what, four feet tall? Not even. <laughs> uh, how about this, uh, Fitch? Uh, if you would like to roll for dick size, you're very welcome to, but I would like you to roll to D8. Oh, my. And, and add pl <laughs> and, and plus three. D8? I don't think it's D20. D20 is a bit much. I think the 2D8 oh, is good. Okay, so, D D12. so, so Fitch's, Fitch's uh, dick is as, as big as Percy's. Or as long. These are all long. This is all length. Oh, Fitch yeah. might have a little bit more girth. I don't know. Something like that. Should, should Percy has a knot. Don't even. <laughs> Four inch girth. Four inch girth. Should I do a D6 for my, my the length or something since I'm a small race? <laughs> sure. Let's see about that. I will just be right back. So two plus three makes it five. And the yeah, girth... you, you've just rolled twos on both that D four and the D six. Yes, twos and twos. <laughs> you, have, you have a you have a beer can <laughs> cock. I, I have a beer can. No, the, th the thickness wouldn't have the plus three. <laughs> Ten by four. That's that's a that's a nice dick. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> Welcome to a bunch of gay men playing Need D. We roll for dick slice. Means no wrong. So, Fitch, you go up to the door and knock, I'm assuming. Yep. Okay. That is literally in my notes now. Ten by four dick size. You you go and you you go and before you can knock, the door opens. Convenient. Uh, uh, in front of you, it's. It is a uh, orc, probably uh, just a little bit shorter than, than Percy. Uh, he has this um, brownish uh, skin, uh, scaled uh, uh, pseudo dragon uh, wrapped around his shoulders. Shoulders, and the the pseudo dragon just kind of looks up and look, kind of looks around and tilts its head, and he goes, "Oh, you're here." We're just there in a bunch comparing dick size. That's... Oh, we weren't comparing them actually in there. We were just, as characters, as players, we were figuring out everyone's dick. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you didn't all whip out your dicks to figure this out. It's just like Squall had a tent. We, I wanted to know how big it was. That's all. Yeah. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> and the, it, but just. Uh, Eric says, hmm. Oh. I, t I was told you were coming. Something about 
that will probably be needed. I'm not sure quite yet what it might be. And that, at that time, you you hear uh, coming from somewhere on the other side of com compound, this giant roar. It sounds like it almost sounds like a dragon roaring in anger and agony. And what emotional. Was... Like, is... do we have do we have to worry about is that a dragon? Like Hello Questions. That was definitely not a dragon. I th think I know what it was. Follow me. And he he starts running and you, you see coming out of uh, one chamber, you see see a uh, copper dragonborn robes says, that can't be. What's that? And he starts charging off of, uh, ahead of you. And uh, you run out to the other side of the compound and um, and you see uh, two black dragons. Uh, they're just like dragon wormlings. Um, uh, uh, f just kind of like zoom down the, the beach towards where this roar had, had come from. Uh, one of them no. said, uh, you hear one of them say, say, Papa! And you, and you, you see, uh, uh, f several more dragonborns, uh, a, a, and, a Asimar, a, a human. All right, think of everybody that's that's here. Uh, a a halfling. Uh, all running down in that that same direction. Uh, direction. Um, another copper dragonborn in in this like almost rainbow looking metallic robe. Um, uh, says. Says, they didn't let him slow down, and uh, they start um, uh, chasing after, uh, going down down the beach. Uh, you end up finding uh, you. Uh, they, as you're going down, you hear hear uh, one of the dragons, the one who who had yelled, "Papa," says, "Papa, oh my God, Daddy!" And then, and you also hear "Daddy" from the other one. And no, 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 it's a dog, no. And the um, the other um, now all the other members kind of like stop in their tracks and just kind of like survey where where the situation. You see this giant red um white dragonborn uh kneeling next to uh this plethora of bodies you see uh this blue person another black dragon um you see a, a blue dragonborn you see a half orc you see a very small silver dragon from what you can tell um there's an asimar um a being which must be a, some sort of changeling um you um see another a uh, human amongst them all laying there um charred charged sinned dead the one of the the black dragonborns, one that's or dragons, the uh, one that has some gold scales in amongst it, his right, scales. <laughs> um, he he comes up to uh, the white dragonborn, which is which is on his knees, and he says, "Pop, what have Pop, what happened?" And uh, the White dragonborn immediately grabs 
grabs onto him and, and seems to, to hug him and uh, you hear some hear this giant brute of a a white dragonborn essentially crying into the shoulder of the the dragon he says I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry um, fucking A god damn it <laughs> You can clearly see the unfazed on Hedward. Yeah, we're all unfazed. I'm crying as fucking Dustin right now, so... <laughs> That's what's going on right here. Squall is in there. He has no idea what the fuck's going on right now. Dustin's crying. He says... He says, Krevis, you're alive. What... What happened? Uh, says uh, the one of the copper dragonborns is like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and the white dragonborn pulls away and looks and just holds gently and looks directly into the eyes of the black and gold uh, dragon and says, I'm going to bring him back. We are going to bring him back. Uh, actually, he says, "Let me let me do that with the correct accent. We're going to bring back. <laughs> I promise you, we are going to bring him back. <laughs> right, Leon? We can do it, right?" Leon says, "We can. We need the resources. Although the problem is, is it, this wasn't when they came here." This was, was this before they came, you guys, you came back? The anchor worked, right? Uh, I, I don't know. I, it, it was, it was strange. It's, I had, something happened. It's like, I, I was kind of out of it, but, but all of a sudden I, I felt this. Yeah, I, I think I felt, I felt aisle. I, I felt this weird, like, cessation in my eye, and just, like, I, I I wasn't really in control, but it seemed to be just, like, right at the last moment. Like, it, it was too late to, to actually, like, like, save them, but it was enough to, you know, save their bodies. But I just suddenly, like, just kind of flew up into the air, I spread my arms right wide and it's like bubble. Just bubble pushed away all the dragon's breath. And I heard a voice. It says, You will not take them. Oh, I think I actually did in the actual accent. Well it was. Anyway. Uh and 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 there I just felt this like surge of energy and and like like some magic broken uh and i feel like it was emanating from me i wasn't doing anything i just like had like some sort of awareness of, of what was happening i was like seeing through my eyes but I, it felt it felt good like protection and i felt comfort I, I, I didn't even see the bodies during this entire time uh, until all of a sudden we were here on the beach. And and it just like, like all of a sudden the power just flowed out of me. And, and, and then I looked down and... and And he falls to his knees. Um, the the golden black dragon uh, comes up and starts comforting the white dragonborn again. Um, Leon comes up uh, to the bodies and 
seems to be doing some sort of magic. He pulls out uh, this large diamond and mutters mutters some words on the nearest one to him, which was actually Cyrus. And and the gem just like shatters. <coughs> but nothing happens. But he's continuing to mutter while he's doing it. Like he casts this spell, but he's also finding out more information that if the spell didn't work, what it would have done. Or, or why. Can I roll Arcana to know uh, what happened? Yeah. Same. Same. Hey! Oh my god, I forgot how to... Percy be like, uh, they're fucking dead. <laughs> I added something. What is this? I think I it's uh, it. guidance. It, you had you saw the ring of blessing. No, no, um, that's not. But well, I, I could pass guidance, but that's not the point. All right. So well, yeah, so I, this is not a spell yeah. that you are familiar with, but it's based off of. Is. But the based off of what it seems like. The arcanema of it is it's kind of similar to almost kind of like a, an identify spell but it's not identifying its spell it's identifying something else which you're still not sure of of what it's actually looking for it's like it helps to tell why a spell would fail And uh, Leon st stands up and says, Grebus, Rourke, the moon, we need to take these, take them to a place where we can keep them safe. Uh, we will make sure that the nothing happens to, to their bodies until we can retrieve their souls. Y'all don't got any <sighs> clerics around here? The what do you uh, need? the uh, the one who just cast that spell says, "My name is Leon Drakonov. I am the High Cleric of Io. You're the one who summoned us. Well, me, I guess. Uh, honestly, all I heard was uh, John here said that um, somebody had summoned you here." And to, to help, um, I'm assuming that this was the reason. These, this is the Pyre of Faith. They have been helping to um, deal with the conflict with Tiamat. Without, I um, I don't want to sound harsh, but was, was the correct term. For now. I don't know what attacked them, but that was strong. That they had... They had gone to Avernus in order to save a friend of theirs. That was stupid. That was not a wise decision. We don't know all that has happened, as has just happened. We are going to um, we are going to essentially it sounds crass, but essentially store the bodies. We're going to probably applies some gentle repose to them to ensure their safekeeping. You need someone to cast them, or you can do it by yourself? Uh, if you can help, it would be much appreciated. It would take less time. Of course um, I can. But we need to keep make sure that we keep them in a safe place. What we would ask of you would be to assist us with retrieving their souls. You want us to 
go down to Avernus where these guys die and retrieve their souls. Not necessarily. There are no, other ways to deal with souls. Now, now, one of the issues with dying in anywhere in the Nine Hells is that there's a chance that their lord may claim the soul before it can go to the appropriate afterlife. Which means that their soul may stay in the hell and go to the River Styx where they will become a Lemur. And then they would be able to raise in the ranks of the of the devils. However, if we can, due to certain circumstances, we may be able to retrieve those souls so that we may return them to their bodies through a regular resurrection rituals. Uh, you hear uh, the white dragonborn sa says, "We can do them all at once." Leon looks over and says, Are you sure about that? Says, That's what he said. Or they said? I don't know. Is he a he or a they? I don't know. But it's very odd. There are other ways. It's a he. Do you Apparently, know why? Souls can be bought. No, I, I, I'm, I'm the, the my he they things in regards to 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 mine and Leon's, Leon's God I am. We're just I'm just trying to get the right pronoun. It's a little difficult. It's hard to tell. It seems like when in doubt like, you say. Yeah, I suppose. I'm a little confused, but I'm not a smart person. He, uh, person's getting political, but you don't need to be smart to use the correct pronouns. Anyways. Uh, but <laughs> but all we need to do is make sure that that, that the souls have, have gone to the rat place. We, we, we can't, they can't come back, right? And Ian's like, you are a wiser one than I ever think of, Krebus. Kri And uh, they start, uh, and then with Edward's help, if he has gentle repose, um, does that have to provide materials? I don't remember. Or does that Not if you have a spellcasting component. I don't think it needs a. I don't no, know. There's, it, there's nothing. It's just salt. Oh, okay. So, so they go about ensuring gentle repose on the entire party. Um, including Dan and Eskel and, and Yaros. Yeah, I'll be helping. Uh, and uh, with the help of the uh, stronger of the um, of the clan, they gently take him into a what looks kind of like some sort of chapel, uh, which has some beers lined up. Um, it's very strange because there's exactly the number of beers needed for each of the per people. What are beers? They're they're like ritual tables. Okay. Uh, okay. I thought there was just alcohol lined up on the table. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's B E I R or something like that. May mm -hmm. I inquire? I might be using the wrong t terminology. Go ahead. May I inquire about um, teleportation circle you could have here? Uh, we have not been here long enough to set one up. Oh. Uh, don't I... don't get me wrong. I've actually we've actually been working on it, but oh. it takes about a year to do so. I think we're only. I don't know, theory, and I'm actually might be working on it right now. So I think we've been here, what, six months? And uh, Sylvia goes, six months and four days. Ah. So uh, we, have, we still have a long time to go. 
uh, before we have that set up and secured. Good. But we would ask of you to find to help us find ways to do to retrieve souls. Best things one of the best things I can think of is actually to converse with well those in associated with death. I believe the I believe the god of this world is Kalimvor. It's time for Chalet! <laughs> I know, they had, I know the Pyre of Faith had an associate um, that was with them for a bit named Schley. Uh, if you go into Waterdeep, uh, you may be able to find them. Uh, find, uh, I, I suppose, any cleric uh, of Kelimvor might be able to discuss with you if there's any way that we can get some sort of contact sadly sadly even being the cleric of my power i don't have as much power here and well creepus is a little short right now he is actually clarion which doesn't quite work as the same but uh, he seems to be just as powerful as i am although what happened to him down down in avernus it's me a little confused but that's a matter between my, me and my god. So, sorry, let me just get this straight here. Mm -hmm. You want us to, one, figure out where all these people's souls are. And then, two, if they're not in the proper plane make sure they get there somehow yeah well effectively I think the goal is to get the souls to be able to do um, re resurrection what the one uh, white dragon board said as long as they're in their proper afterlife not being held against will or done something otherwise to them whatever they're trying to do will work we don't have to have the souls ourselves like in a vessel ourselves they just need to be in their proper afterlife no for example uh Chetant, or in the black dragon um and uh also uh kriv um sometimes referred to as metal shock um they mm -hmm. would probably end up being in mount celestia with bahamut Okay. God dang it, I'd rather take runes with frickin' spiders and zombies again. God, alright. What... What will this help? Well, what if were you... they What were they trying to do? I think is what my... Giant friend here... Hi. Um, was trying to... Before the sidetrack from... Sidetrack due to the kidnapping of Krebus... Um, they were in the process of helping to uh, defend defend this land from the cult of the dragon and their ritual to summon Tiamat to this world. Oh. We are not asking you to do that. You are asking you to help us return our heroes to where they need to be. Oh, we're on a bit of a time crunch right now. It is what you're trying to say? If... Yes, there's a council of water deep in a few days. Um, we've been able to postpone it after the after the current situation. Um, it, that they really need to be attending to. The council of water deep, you say? Yes. Why wasn't I made aware of this? I'll have you know! I am Percival Green, you know, of, of, of the Green family. You might have heard of me. Or something, I don't know. Yeah. I'll be attending that meeting. Thank you. 
Uh, sadly, it is only for specific people, and although I do believe the Greaves... Do you know who I am? I do believe the Greaves <laughs> did no. attend, but it was just the, um, the heads of the household. It must have been your parents. Fine, I guess that is excusable. Did she say, did she say hold... just a little bit ago that you don't talk to your parents, so you wouldn't have known about those? No, I just haven't been at home in a while. Oh, yeah, you wouldn't have known. I just would have thought that I would have been made aware of via some means that something. The meanings isn't... are rather drab and boring, uh, in, in my my opinion. But it's also the sort of military matters and um, concerns of of state in regards to the crisis. Boring stuff. Gotcha. If I've been known to nod off a few times. Calls, I will help. I, my benefactor, um, bid me to come here, so I will be helping you out on this. Dear God. Uh, the the orc, uh, the orc looks at you is like. Your your patron. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, I know him. Yeah. Him. Yeah. Uh, I prefer to call him my benefactor because I'm like, oh, I am an entertainer and all. So just benefactor works better. First of all, will loudly point at him and say, Hayton. Yeah, Devosa and Eros have been good friends for a while. Oh. That makes sense how he knows, though. He told me to come here. All right. This still sucks. And I mean, like, Devosa no, was the I... one who told us that you guys were coming here, so that's probably where everything came from, so. Yeah, the situation true. must be really dire for you to contact my tribe for them to send their shaman. That's... This still sucks balls and not in a whatsoever pleasing way. Um, honestly, she didn't mention anything about contacting one of your people. She just said she contacted a few people that might be able to help, so. What do we need to do? So... I Leanne says, uh, right now, I think the be best thing to do would be to uh, entreat with people who are f more familiar with death and the afterlife. And what better than that would be the clerics of death. In this case, Kellenvor. I think you mentioned someone named Shalei was the companion. Yes, she was a, uh, she was a cleric that had uh, been associated with them for a short time. She might be able to assist this problem. Do you know where we can find this chalet? I'm a map of Waterdeep. Yeah, you do. You have everything. Not in here. Oh, we're going to water tea? That's apparently where this chalet person is. Lovely. And it's also very close, and they have a temple of water. They come over there, so. Makes sense. Water deep dragon eye. I You know, uh, one of the things I had, had thought about doing before, before doing this was resetting my router, but... I any not uh, did the bodies return with anything on them? Ah, or... yes. 
Like, Mr. Fitch, I doubt they are going to let us loot the bodies of their deceased friends. That That's not what I meant. I meant, uh, I don't know, any clue on what they were doing? I mean, where they were? Who they fought? Oh, they were but, at Archon's I mean, Tower in Avernus. Fitch, you would know know the, the name Archon. He is also known yeah. as Archon the Cruel. He is like Tiamat's second in command. He um, has his own tower in Avernus. He commands a legion of dragons. He has um, he has a death cleric named Krull as uh, one of his seconds, as well as a minotaur named Torgar. Um, oh, bitch. He he had he he had gone. You had heard that he had gone to another world and was able to retrieve the hand of Vecna, and he has it actually as one of his hands right now. The hand of who? Vecna. Uh, this, does this, this ring is, this, is this is me giving giving information that Fitch would have. Okay. Uh, he is. He. He is bad. <laughs> he is bad bad to the bone. I mean, to the people, to the people, uh, uh, to those actually devoted to TMI. He's awesome. He's like the head head guy. You know. I, I mean. He's, He's the guy. His word is that of Tiamat, practically. So that's how high on the totem pole he is uh, within worship of Tiamat. And uh, Ar this Archon, uh, he took someone's friend. Oh, uh, Krebus, the white dragon lord. Yeah, that's okay. that's who he they they took. He was Kriv's husband, or is Kriv's husband? Lived. Wow, that's crazy. And it, yeah, I think it, something might have happened. That uh, here's my theory on what might have happened um, at the last moment. Av um, Io, my god, uh, who Kribus had devoted himself to. Uh, had uh, sent him power to essentially keep him alive or revive him and um, basically inhabited Kribis's bodies for a short time in order to protect the bodies of his fellows and return them to here. Sucks that she or he, they couldn't do that to everyone else. But okay. I mean, I, I, I only know so much about the Wind of Io. I have been referred to uh, in my world because I'm not from Toro. Uh, I have been referred to as the Avatar of Io. I've had a similar experience before. Oh, okay. Well, not uh, in dire circumstances, but when needed. Shall we go hunt down? Uh, yes. Find the this priest or whatever. Yes. Do you have a city or settlement that we could think of finding her? She would probably be the last we heard. She had stayed in Waterdeep, so she should be in the area of the Herbal city district. of the dead. Makes sense. Which I probably could get a don't have a map of it yet loaded here, so I'm going to have to load it. New page. So, let's go there. Yes. What time of day is it? Uh, I would say it's mid-afternoon. Or can we, just can we do a break? Sure. I need to go pee and eat food. 
Kurt, let's take a uh, quick break. Uh, okay. Be right back. Back 10 minutes. I'll see if I can get us a uh, water deep map. You're back.
Hello. Hola. Who else is there? I just waited myself again. Yeah. Do you know how much I lost in the last four weeks? Nope. Try to guess. Two pounds. In the last four weeks. Four pounds. You can go higher than that. Five. You can multiply it. Ten. Yet again. Twenty. Forty. Forty-six. Yeah. Close enough. Nice. So you have lost five pounds. I lost more than five pounds, yeah. Yeah, five pounds plus other, plus more. Yeah. So I was right. I was you were right. totally right with the two, two. Yes, and the one. I, my, all my answers are right. Mm -hmm. There was just more to it. <laughs> so, cheers to that. But congratulations, that is a big thing, to lose 46 pounds in a month. Mm-hmm. And that is without doing much exercise. So can't wait to start football again. Is it round ball uh, uh, football or... Uh, American. Let's say American or European football. There we no, go. I'm American. I'm not playing soccer. <laughs> Do I look like the kind of guy who's going to run? <laughs> oh, football, you run too. No, when oh. you're a fat guy. <laughs> no, you, yeah. you basically American. stand in one place and prevent people from going through. Exactly. <laughs> you can in soccer, you can stay, you can be in a small area and prevent things from coming through too. It's called the goalie. Yeah, even um, the goalie moves the, around a lot. The goal, the goal for for football, <laughs> football, uh, <laughs> is a lot bigger than you think. <laughs> this isn't like. No, it's higher than me, and I'm six foot eight. By the way, I'm kind of glad that Josh isn't in this campaign because I think he would probably be balling by now. Who? Josh. Oh, um. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not good with names. I was this sorry, I didn't know I was muted. I was this close to crying. Right. Just feels. And the DM goes, Yes. Yes. Not a very good it. thing to come back to. Oh, just him going, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was because I'm a, I, I got I got Dustin here almost to cry. I was like, like I was this close to that like I was like, ah, oh. like I knew like if Pip dies, it's gonna like at least the first one like one is gonna be a highly emotional because Layden and Creepus, especially Layden, especially if both Creepus and Crib didn't come back. Oh. I was Do you get attached to your characters? The NPCs, oh. yeah. Like and like, I, I I was attached to Crib too, but I was both like, hey, some big shit came down that really didn't have to go down. It was my fault. So if a price had to be paid, so be it. I, I will okay. admit, if you guys had first left the tower, gotten away. And then use the acre, you probably would have made it. Yeah, but that's not what happened. Yeah, probably wouldn't I let wanted, it away. I wanted to say something like that, but Kethrick wouldn't have said anything like that. So, Kethrick's a character can be deadly. <laughs> anyway, I believe everybody's back. Am I right? Yep. Yes. Okay. Maybe if I uh, use the right screen, how about that? 
By the way, did you know that comes out that has Patreon? I need to remember to keep mentioning this because the like, well associated with comes out loud. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you have merch as well? Yeah, it's a zazzle.com slash comes out loud. And hey, if you're not in the United States, you can still go to Zazzle and go to your own localization and get probably pricing one in your own currency and two a lot cheaper than if you were tr trying to have it shipped directly from the united states <laughs> super yeah. sad there's a um, there's a type of ice cream in ux that i want to be shipped to my place and they don't but like i can find the brand here but they don't have the same flavors so. what what brand is it it's called enlightened it's a keto friendly ice cream. Oh, oh, I know what you're talking about. Wish. All right. So I had to resize a map of Waterdeep. I just kind of like haphazardly put it on. But over here is the City of the Dead, where there is a temple to Kaldmore. Sounds interesting. Oh, it despite me lowering the resolution of it so that I could fit it so that it would actually upload into <laughs> all 20. Uh, it actually doesn't look too bad. <laughs> yeah, once you zoom in, it's yeah. pretty good. Really, really okay. Yeah, like you can't like. Yeah, it, yeah, it buffer it buffers it all well, so you can still read it. Mm -hmm. What like once you're at like two fifty magnification. Yeah, well, it's a. Yeah, and then I me even me expand uh, going in and then expanding it out just to make it fill the space. More so, I'm glad for that. How far away is water deep from where we are? We're just not too far, like maybe like a, it was like a mile or so outside of. Uh, yeah, it was a couple of miles, so it was like uh, two or three. Yeah, but we're not... yeah, just like a little bit down the high road, but it's still on. It is literally on the coast, so you have to kind of like go through a road that's on the forest to get to to the compound, which is just like this big mansion and then which is it's got like rock and then the face of the the mansion is just right in between the rock and then on the other side is a beach and a couple more buildings one of them being quartz shop <laughs> shop as in that's where he he creates everything and also where he basically has set up the equivalent of a storefront <laughs> <laughs> where he keeps all of his, his, his magic items. Uh, could we get there before nightfall? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you guys could, could easily get into town. Um, I didn't see where you pinged for uh, the shop. No, I oh, didn't ping what? anywhere for the shop. Okay. I was just describing what the, what the compound is like and, and how you get there. So it's like I have a couple a miles out through some forest to this kind of like rocky cliff face where there's a where there's like the front of a mansion is like in the middle of the cliff face, but on the other side, when you if you go through the mansion, is a beach with a couple of additional buildings. So that's kind of like, um, yeah, anyway. I have the spell circle uh, teleportation circle. Yeah. Um, when you take the spell, you acquire two circles. Would that you, uh, know. Huh? that you have seen? Yeah, I, I guess. I guess with the age of my character, that I, I would have been to Waterdeep. Where would be the, this circle? But you, you probably have been to Waterdeep, but you would have had to make associations with appropriate people to get access to their teleportation circles. 
acquaintance. Probably my uh, one of my brother who's now a noble, I guess. Maybe you set up teleportation circle with him or something like that. Yeah, couldn't make sense. Uh, right there, does it make sense? Sure. In the castle ward, <laughs> big house makes sense. Near near the drunkard, I mean. The, the great drunkard. Yeah. So I ask if everybody if everybody wants to walk there or if they want to go faster. Well, since they're waiting, like we, they need to get this done before the next council of Waterdeep. I'm guessing they're going to push it back. Like the these people are going to try to push it back as far out as possible so we can get this thing done. I'm guessing the sooner the better. It'd be I'm guessing if you have a faster way than walking. We should take that. I do. Follow me. I'm simply going to um, go in a place with enough room and cast a spell teleportation circle towards this. Easily done. Yeah. Uh, them knowing the, the the spell teleportation circle, they're like, oh, we could just do that in the big lobby lobby area here. So. Because as soon as you cast it and, and it's used, everything just disappears. <laughs> so it's not like it, it ruins the carpet or, or no. uh, floor or anything. So. No, exactly. I'm still going to inquire if other people needs to go in water deep. That'd be the, that'd be the time. Yeah. No, perfect. So when everybody's ready, tell me. So I guess it... Um, we're actually going in my uh, brother's mansion in the water deep. Oh, don't worry, there should be enough space for you two. Fancy. What is your brother's name? He's na his name is Eric. Eric. Eric Hopper. That makes sense. Okay. Well. Sure, let's do it. Um, so you're gonna see uh, Edward um, tracing on the ground with lightning sigils, uh, a series of sigils on the ground resembling what is normally a teleportation circle, and you're gonna hear the crackling sound of the thunder and lightning going around, and um. The, a portal on the ground is going to open. And he's going to hop in. And uh, when he hops in, all of a sudden, this he, he his entire body just like turns to lightning and goes like upwards and disappears. It looks like it hurts. Um, <laughs> oh, this stuff, it, it doesn't. Yeah. And you just walk in, Squall? Yeah. You, you walk in, his... His body turns into to lightning and just kind of like shoots up into the air. Oh, oh no, no! I want to, I want to do something different. I okay, something. what do you do? What do you do? So I don't say like, no, it doesn't hurt. I'm actually just gonna look at Pitch and be like, it is agonizing, like the most excruciating pain ever. And he just goes, woo, <laughs> just starts <laughs> right in. You jump in. Just woohoo! Actually, it's more like a, a crack of thunder. It's not like super loud or anything, but. Okay, well, he's crazy. Um, he's like mixed signals. <laughs> I guess this is the way, but okay, let I'll, I'll just jump in. Get it you, with. you jump in. <laughs> Percy? Did, did he, was he not here and we didn't realize he, it? No, he said he, he was, was here. Yeah, he, he, he talked earlier, so I, I mean... First of all, you might be muted. Are you going to the bathroom? Bark mm -hmm. twice if you're in Milwaukee. <laughs> blink twice if you're in danger. Hey, was that a blink? Wait, what? Percy probably went and went before Fitch and just kind of like did, did a, like a flirtatious wink uh, and, and then just kind of like stepped in the circle. 
And then Fitch is like, uh, what? <laughs> and goes in. So we arrive at the um, little cozy mansion. And it's it's still small. It's it's high enough for Fitch, but clearly it's not meant for you to live here. Fitch, you feel like you need to duck. You don't, but there's not much space between. If you stand up straight, you're, there's not much space between you and the ceiling. <laughs> you look at the doorway, and yeah, you're gonna have to duck through the doorway. Oh, I'm it's just like, it's say, like a foot. It's 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 not far. It's just like yeah. simply gonna say hi to the maid and say uh, tell them to tell my brother I'll be back uh, for the supper. Hopefully, it would have been nice for a warning of how big, you know, the ceiling would be. I said you can be here if you are feeling a little claustrophobic and stuff. I can help you out with that. Uh, no thank. Uh, I'm fine. Just, I just for curiosity, how how would you help? All right. Let me see you, probably. Um, I have a <laughs> magic lamp. Um, I have the ability to enter it and um, bring along people who uh, I whoever I choose along with me and you can stay in, I can put you in there and carry the bottle around and you will it will the, the room adjusts accordingly so it's a adequate size for the t- tallest person the biggest person so uh, okay well that might come in handy but uh Right now, I I feel like I should probably be out. I was just saying, if you if you Start felt me out anyway, if you felt uncomfortable being in here, I can help. It's just a slight hindrance. It's fine. Uh-huh. Uh, the maid, the maid, the uh, maid is kind of like surprised that these really tall people. Uh, the maid is. Uh, also Grung. Um, I think she's yellow. I can get my Grung, grung uh, 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 cast, right? And she goes, yes, yes sir. Uh, uh, right this way, I can show you out. Thank you. And uh, they show you out onto the streets of Waterdeep. I'm going to ask her the direction um what the city of the dead from here she should know she's probably just gonna point out it's on uh, on our left and we're gonna head out we walk what down does the it street smell like to... what it smell like where you are in the castle ward um there are very there are still um like not as frequent in as in some places, but um, you do get uh, the smell of restaurants. Um, you don't. It. This is one of the places where where they do try to keep the streets very clean. Um, so you do, you don't really smell too much like it. It's like a regular seaside city. Um, otherwise, but you you get the whiffs of. Uh, uh, from some of the restaurants that are down the streets, uh, or that you may pass through, during the streets of some some good food, but it's it it doesn't really smell any worse for wear or anything. It's it's when the cleaner portions of the city. Okay. As you uh, make your way down, I'm going to say you're probably on uh, Seldith Street. Like you, you take. Yeah. You pop over here and then then move down to here and start heading down this way. It's been a while since I've been over in this area. I always like it. One day. Hey. And you make your way into the City of the Dead. Um, the City of the Dead is... Well... Not many people live here. There are buildings here, but usually more of uh, mortuary 
mortuaries and uh, mausoleums. Um, there is housing for those who worked in the area. Uh, and uh, there is a temple of Kelimvor. Uh It is not a large temple because it, it's more, con they consider the, for those who lived in Waterdeep, you remember, know that um, this entire area is considered a temple of Kelimvor, but they do have a building, um, uh, which is uh, lies uh, near the center of uh, the city of the dead. And you uh, approach the building and uh, the doors are open at this this time of day. It's just starting to get like mid midday so they're still kind of like open for anybody who needs to come do business uh for interment or what have you and uh you do see someone heading towards uh the building in a dark garb and she does look very much like a priestess of kelimvor uh ma'am And uh, would love to fetch Alex, but Alex is asleep right now. <laughs> she, she, she turns and says, "How may I help you? May I pray for you?" <laughs> uh, no, no. Um, um, we've been, <laughs> we've been told that you were a um, friends of the Pyre of Faith. Was their name? I think. Or oh, yeah. actually, should we ask for? Are you Shillay? We're looking for a priest a priestess named Shillay. W? Uh, like... That is I. Okay, good. We should always ask names first, people. Like I I, I just said ma'am, but okay. Yeah, but you said ma'am. We don't know if this is the right person. There well then then priestess. Edward uh, started talking just about point that this is the person. <laughs> and like not even making sure that this was the person first. Like, manners. Especially you, apparently, looking down at Edward, like, you should know to be proper introductions and not just assume oh. things. Well, the, uh, the insignia of Kalemba was uh, quite the, the help right here. I but assumed like, you're saying there's only one priestess of Kalimba. No, there's just the vibe. There are, there are exactly. about twenty of my sisters who work in the city of Dead. Exactly. You just you you just assumed this was the person instead of asking. But but you mentioned person. the Pyre of Faith. It, did something happen? Yes, uh, apparently okay. they were alive. Here, here, let 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 me take care. And first of all, for some reason, staying quiet. This is weird. Already weird. Um, yeah, we were sent by this group called Eyes of Io. I'm not sure if you're aware of them or not. Um, but apparently some devastating things have had happened to the Fire of Faith. Um, apparently at one point they had traveled down into Avernus. And we're going after a one of the members' husband, Krebus. He was captured and brought down there. Um, um, excuse me, if you don't mind. Um, I might. Um, but first, I was talking. You just rudely interrupted, but hey. Okay. If you don't mind, and in character, bitch would interrupt. I understand that, and I, as to all I'm saying, you really interrupted, and I might Don't, mind what This is all a character, keep going. This is like, I am being a character, like, I might mind, yes. Um, <laughs> Ma'am, uh, we need your help. People died. You apparently know information we need. We need to get back to IO people. I mean, what, what, what information are you looking for? Would you know of a way to um, recuperate 
souls from outer planes. I mean, um, uh, resurrection rituals with uh, most other clerics. We're not ones who frequently do that unless absolutely necessary. Uh, it, it, I mean, the will of Kelimvors is it, if someone dies, we need to make sure that they stay dead. We don't want them to be undead, do, they, do we? It's more of, I think, what they're trying to say, not just gather souls, making sure if souls are being held against their will, being able to, in, say, a different plane, like we think their souls might be held in Avernus and not gone to their proper afterlives um and we're wondering if you have ways of telling like can help us tell if that has happened um, so more of a location of where the souls are currently yes hmm the only real way we'd be able to do that is to entreat Kelimvor directly we may need some sort of rit ritual components in order to commune with... Actually, hold on. I might be able to do something. Um, come with me. And she goes in, into the building and uh, leads you into to a chamber. She grabs a, a few items off the, off the shelf and says, says, you may observe to stand back a... a stand back and she kind of like places you around the chamber and she places some items in a circle and she sits down and uh, puts her hands together and lowers her head and starts mumbling something uh, part of the items that are on are some candles that start glowing ever a little bit brighter and then the light in the room seems to fade completely, but you can s clearly see the candles. But it doesn't seem like the candle light is going anywhere. There seems to still be a candlelight-ish glow on Chalet. But otherwise, the room is very... It almost goes to pitch black. And you hear her whispering a few things. And uh, she, after uh, about 15 minutes, the light returns to the room. And the candle flames that had had what seemed to burn brighter had basically gone to regular candle flames. And she says, I've communed with Kelimvor. He has discerned, he has answered the question if the souls are still held in Avernus. His answer was no. I asked if they were still in the Nine Hells. He said yes. Unfortunately, with this method, I can only get to answer yes and no questions. And they're usually not actually yes or no. It's usually some other slide, which basically gives me an affirmative or a negative. That's how that works. At last, I asked for... Asked a question which I would didn't really want to know the answer for, but I asked if their souls were, there, were with Asmodeus. He said yes. I asked if he would help retrieve their souls, and he said no. Of course uh, not. <laughs> still, that's that's a that's a Asmodeus. That was a Yay. waste of question. I don't think she's limited to the amount of questions that she can ask. Actually, I think mm -hmm. it's like five. Oh. It, I decided always... to treat with the worst of it, just in, in what was going to work back to Zariel, since she is the matron of Avernus, although he did say that they weren't in Avernus. 
but uh, was going to work work back. Didn't start going down, but uh, when he said yes to Asmodeus. My last question, however, well, have they become the Moors? He said no. With this, gives us the possibility that they may still be retrieved. However, someone who would be very influential would need to be be able to discuss this with Asmodeus. Kelimvor says that he would not be able to. Where, where the heck were you? Hmm? Did you did you fall through the hole of the bowl? No, we were, we were asking where you were, Cyrus, because you were very quiet. quiet. <laughs> yeah, I have been relaxing on my bed listing. Okay. Because I have had a long day at work and I am okay. exhausted. Okay. I'm gonna roll in sight and know that you you <laughs> fell asleep. <laughs> we we may just have a shorter session so you can sleep a little bit. <laughs> yeah. It can Mood recuperate up things. So uh, we need someone to sp to speak with Asmodeus. The Asmodeus. I could try hair flip. Yay. So, I wish All I could right. help you more, as they were were dear colleagues at the t with the time that I had spent with them. You knew them? A few of them. I understand that some of the them have changed have changed throughout their time. Um, Kriv, Federica. Uh, I knew the dragons. Yes, there were dragons. Who cares to keep dragons as pets, but... But I will pay... I will pray... I will pray for them. <laughs> That's a partial inside joke. Uh, because she would always say, I will pray for you. Anyways, moving on. All right. Well, where to next? Well, I think we should let those people back to Eyes of Io kind of know what's going on. Um, I'm guessing. Edward, since you had to make the circle and they don't have one there, that your way of transportation wouldn't get us back there fast. Edward? Sorry, I, I didn't hear. I'm guessing your way that of tel transportation won't work for us getting back. No, as they have not been, uh... Okay. I have a way that, uh, when I need your... I sent, I whispered you something. Oh. My five speed's 30 feet. Uh, if it's just at the 30 foot, foot fly speed... Um, <laughs> it would probably take you as long as you would take for walking. <laughs> Maybe a little bit shorter because you could. Okay, fly but if I double, if I double it, it's like cast fly, mm. which does it for sixty feet. Mm. Um, sure. but it's just it takes. Uh, it's only lasts for ten minutes, so I'm trying to figure out if it's. Like, oh no! It, it would it would take longer to get there. Okay. Um.
Yeah, I guess I I get. All this did take it take too long. Took probably uh, uh probably an hour to get to uh, the city of dead, locate Chalet, have her do the ritual, her explaining things. So it's about time for us. Yeah, uh, we should we should start walking back towards the compound to let them know what's going on in case they might have some insight for us or ways to help us out. Because last time I heard, I think if, if what's been told around the circle is that Asmodeus isn't on this plane, oh, uh, that's gonna be an issue. Um. So I say we head back to the compound. Uh, what time of day is it now? Uh, probably uh, late evening or late afternoon. It's probably getting towards the evening hours. Well, maybe we should uh, you know, find somewhere to spend the night. Uh, the compound. We can spend the night at the compound. The compound. Where we just were. We can, if you wish so, I can ask my brother in town if he has places for us to stay for the night. That won't be necessary. I, I, I say we just get back to them. That way, it won't take us that long to get there. We'll probably get there by nightfall. And then, they can... Help us decide our next plan of action. Yes, but we can always just go there in the morning. But everything seems quite time sensitive. Yes, I think life is on, uh, on the plate right now. Because the sooner we can get them back into their souls back into their body, the better since they have I'm guessing the eyes can stall the council for a bit, but probably not indefinitely. Okay, uh, be honest. Do, do you guys actually think getting their souls back is that important? It's what I've been tasked to do, so it doesn't matter my opinion. I'm, this is what I'm supposed to do. I'm on, uh, I'm on his side on this one. Um... Well, judging by why they went there, they're either extremely stupid and went there highly unprepared and not ready well, to deal with that kind of ordeal, or well, sounds or like they, they they were they were good fighters and we're gonna need them if we want to succeed in um, going against the plan of. The name. They're dead. Yeah. The, uh, doesn't mean uh, just because they so could be good fighters and just gone up against more than they, they thought they would be able to handle. But for what it sounds like, they were going after one of like one of the guy the main characters Pyres of Faith husband was kidnapped. And that's why they, they went to Crevis was it was and he was going to they went to save him now if they met forces that beyond what they could handle that's something that probably who knows what i'm not even going to like i don't know these people like i'm just going to say that it sounds like these people are important if they're we're being sent on this mission if i'm being sent on this mission and edward you are too like, this is what we're supposed to do. It, it, it's a reason. Okay, well, uh, we better get going, then. I have nothing better to do. Alright, it's decided. Let's get on the road. Oh, we'll make for the compound. I hate it that I have a snarky remark, to, uh, remark but I, I really shouldn't make it. To, otherwise, we're really break this scene. So we continue on to the ice volume. <laughs> I have nothing better to do. You mean you don't have anybody? You don't have someone. <laughs> I don't have anybody better to do. <laughs> that's why. 
when he said I don't have anything better to, he meant he doesn't have anybody. I mean, it could be anything. It doesn't have to be someone. Anyways, moving on. Rock. Robots. Hey, it's not, you, you never know where you can get satisfaction. Um, what? So, Night Falls falls just as you're uh, getting uh, uh, to um, the Eyes Vio. Uh, and you enter so that you, you can report. Uh, Leon and uh, Leon is uh, sitting there with a gold dragonborn who he had you would have noticed to be uh, Bamoon, who had gestured to as helping the take the bodies to to the uh, sanctuary. I suppose it would probably be the best place to call that. Um, they seem to be waiting you in the entrance hall. Uh, uh, they seem to be, they were being a little snug up uptight uh, for a little bit. And let me say, uh, what news, what news do you have to, have you? Your, well, I, your, I, bad news, and I guess not as bad news. Your um, friend's souls are fucked. Wow, so ethically we put... Uh, they asked for information. I gave it. Yeah, that is the most vague information possible. Like, what the fuck? Alright. Just great. Like, we... Some bad news and some... Okay news. Um... We, we were able to talk to... Um... The priestess. And she was able to commune with her god and... Uh, gather some information. Oh, good. Uh, okay, news is that they're not their souls are not in Avernus. Bad news is, as Modi says. Okay, uh, and they have not become Muos at all. At all, have they? Correct. They're they're not Lemures, according to uh, Priestess. Was Kelimvor able? Was she able to find out if Kelimvor would be able to assist in retrieving the souls? Just like Kelimvor any other said, god. Kelimvor said no. <sighs> That's unfortunate. You kind of see the bad and okay news about all this. Why don't you have some rest? I'm Great going to discuss idea. this to, to see if we may be able to find another avenue. Uh, sending you to the ninth level of hell would probably not be the best of circumstances, especially trying to retrieve them from Asmodeus. He is quite a clever man, and I'm not willing to sell your souls to uh, for someone who's just been in here by supernatural means, possibly. In That's Fitch, in Fitch, yeah. do not worry. Um, we do not. We do not. Acknowledge anyway your previous uh, your previous mind is cool. associations. I just want some sleep. Uh, uh, I feel like there's some tea right here that needs at one point that needs to get a little spill. Yeah, I, I will show you to some rooms as uh, you're walking away. You do see that Fitch's shield has some um, uh, has some sort of symbol on it, uh, but it's deeply marked up that it's almost um, completely obscured. Interesting. The plot thickens like my soup. <laughs> I don't got soup, sadly. <laughs> I had chimichangas. <gasps> hmm. Nice. I just had meatloaf. 
Josh wanted to go out for some Mexican for his birthday. So we went to San Jose. Aww. Restaurant. I was say if you got to San Jose, that's a really long drive. <laughs> it's a restaurant. Yeah, we got that. We got we went there and got back. We went there today. Got back in time for D and D. Like that's good. Don't ask how the car is doing. Don't count. What? The car is probably doing car. fine. The fine. The car is fine. It's, everything's fine, right? Anyways, right. Um, uh, 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 per Percy, how, how you doing? <laughs> Do you need sleep? I am very tired. <laughs> okay. We're, um, yeah. Do you do you guys want to do something before uh, before you go to go to bed? Some uh, character interactions. Uh, as of right now, like, per, like Squall heard what was going on and stuff, and he's intrigued because there's obviously some connection here. But he's gonna let it be right now. I want to learn uh, uh, what are the attitudes of my. Uh... Current party member. And I just also, like, I don't need a room. Just where's a nice place to put my lamp? Better. Is your lamp a hooker? It says, yeah. uh, you know what? John might be able to, to assist you with that. Um, he, he knows your type of situation best. That was that orc? Yes. Ah, okay. Where is he? Uh, he's he's probably currently in the library with with my brother. Okay. Where's that? Uh, and he he points you in the direction, and uh, you go to the library, and and you all you see is a copper dragonborn there, and says, "says Oh, are you looking for something? Can I help you?" Oh, I'm looking for Chorn. Oh, I I actually think he, he was he went to bed. Uh, his room is just. Just down the down the hall here, and he points you to 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 the door, um, and you knock on the door, and um, he opens the door, and it's this big burly orc, uh, shirtless, uh, and very sexy. He's like, "Oh, hello. Um, did, hello did you need something?" I was told I can talk to you about a place to store my lamp. Jordan raises an eyebrow and says, I got a place where you can store your lamp. And he invites you into his room. Oh, oh. oh my. Squall enters. Squall enters. And then he enters. <laughs> <laughs> Fade the <to> black. <laughs> <laughs> no, all you see is the a uh, nice trail of electric blue smoke carrying to like going into the lamp. It's smoke. It's... Quotation marks. Wink, wink. He he, he 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 shows you a place to put down your lamp. And says says, might I see the inside? <laughs> oh, yes, you may. Um, I would, uh... Found Chicka Barn Cow! Ask for, um, something to eat. And drink. And a room. Alright. Uh, they're easily able to, uh, get you drink. Let's see. Um. Uh, they, they take you into, uh, the dining room, and you see this, uh, big, burly, um, uh, brass dragon dragonborn um all he's got is like pauldron with leather straps for for anything on, on top uh he is buff is all fuck um and you see uh, a big old axe nearby by and uh, he's got a plate just covering different types of meats uh and there's like a, a a pig, a big old like roast and and 
and uh, some pile of uh, some sort of fowl uh, and various other dishes. It's it's very feasty like. And um, and he says, oh, you want some food? Uh, I got some wine over here. Um. Um. Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna roll real quick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna say, hell yeah, in Draconic. But okay. realize what I just did and say, uh, yes, yes, please. He 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 just he never flinches. He just like lets it go and and uh, he he starts like carving off a- anything you like in particular. It's all really uh, good. The strongest L or whatever you do you have? Ah, okay. Uh, let's see here. He goes over to to a keg and looks at, at a couple of them and goes, "All right." He pulls ah. down this. He pulls on down this like really big mug. It says, "This is one of my favorite mugs." He pours. He, he taps it and and it pours and he just fills it practically to the brim. And he brings it over to you, but he doesn't do it like very carefully to to spill things. He just brings it like directly over to you. Ale spills spills out. And he hands it to you. And he says, there you go. Um, have whatever. If you need me to, if you'd like me to carve you something, I'm very welcome to do so. So uh, I've had some friends enjoy it when I try carving with my axe. It's great. I'm sure it is. Uh, thank you. And I'll just walk to my room, um, wherever that may be. Mm. And uh, throughout the night, I'll just drink and specifically I want to take my shield and um <laughs> and uh start scratching at the spot some more okay and that's all like just by like, your finger or your tiger uh, probably even something a little more sharper yeah Probably using some sort of implement. That's all. Uh, uh, Edward, uh, I'm assuming you might need some special accommodations. Oh, um, just a bed or a lily pad is going to do pretty just fine. It says, well, if you go out, uh, Buren actually uh, likes... Uh, uh, sleeping out by the sea uh, himself. Uh, he actually has some pads. Uh, he sometimes sleeps sleeps on. They just kind of float uh, on float in the uh, area that we've like cordoned off as kind of like a little swimming area uh, to prevent any like animals to come uh, come in. You're very welcome to to sleep out there. We know um, about. Grongs. You notice that no one, none of the the eyes of Io have have like even gone to attempt to touch you, like even just like put a pat your shoulders or or uh, shake your hand or anything. Yeah, I mean, I didn't offer hands for good reasons. <laughs> uh, uh, but uh, Buri could definitely uh, help you find a a good wet spot. That should be perfect. And uh, um, you go outside. Uh, night air is nice, cool, and crisp. It's it's very nice out outside where where they are. And you see, uh, floating on uh, some sort of board or something, you see this very slender uh, dragon board with tail, which seems really odd. Uh, and he kind of he. Uh, Kind of like turns his head and says, "Oh, hey, come, come and join. Uh, I got another one of these right over here. You could definitely join me here. It's actually a beautiful night." Yes, isn't the wind refreshing? Yep. 
it, it's good to be in here because like we, when it does get a little bit uh, um, more windy, the uh, docks around here actually kind of block off some of the wind so it, it doesn't get too cold. Not really akin to the colds. Mm -hmm. And Percy finds a room. <laughs> yes. Hey, um, how how big is Edward? I'm two feet and a half. Okay. That's all. Yeah. You, if you like, go out to to wear this like. Uh, uh, cordoned off area of the of the um, uh, the ocean is um, surrounded by docks, and you see you see a this uh, a bronze this bronze dragon board with a tail uh, lying on on this like floating piece of uh, wood carved piece of wood wood snoring, and then just a, a little bit away on a on a car feeder piece of wood, the same size. It's just a little frog like being <laughs> Buren's like six and a half foot tall <laughs> versus two. Um I'm say my frog is strong as fuck, okay? Don't mess with the frog. I, I I just find this this weird or just funny that there's like these two diff massively yeah. different sized creatures. Well, we have Finch, which is like eight thousand feet tall. But um, in any case, um, but with that, with the with your sleep, you'll be able to uh rest. Maybe we didn't really have anything that needed for recovery hit points or spells for it, but hey, have you. Um, and I think we'll just call it for the night so that uh, our Percy can get some much needed rest. I'm sorry. No. Don't be sorry. Don't do it again. Just watch what you touch next time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what did it. But uh, I'm glad you're at least okay. I really don't understand either how you could like, hurt yourself without knowing what you did. Well, it's like a, it's a delayed allergic reaction, right? So it's, I touched 42 things in five minutes. And it's like, oh, well, which one of these 42 things did it? I have no idea. Sucks to that's, be you. That's so, much thing, so many things, and you, you should be wearing gloves. I am wearing gloves. <laughs> okay. Here's the gloves. How this is worse. All right. Good night, kids. Have Good night. Uh,